Welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will show you how to deploy a Bitscap grid bot with the new and improved trailing down feature that they just re added to their platform. Now, if you're familiar with Bitscap in the past, they did have the trailing down feature. However, they discontinued that feature some time ago for their grid bots, mainly because most users didn't actually understand how that trailing down feature worked. And when Bitscap discontinued the trailing down feature, it took away a very valuable valuable weapon for those of us who understood it. But the trailing down feature is back, albeit in beta mode. So with that being said, let's jump over to Bitscap and I will show you how to deploy one of these grid bots with the trailing down feature. And so the first thing you need to do obviously is sign into your Bitscap account. Now, if you don't have a Bitscap account, I will drop a link in the description down below. And if you sign up using my link in the description down below, you will receive the pro plan version during your free seven day trial. After that, you will need to decide on what plan you wanna go with. The good news is, as long as the trailing down feature is in beta mode, you can actually deploy up to 100 grid bots, regardless of what plan you're on. So in order to deploy one of these new grid bots with the trailing down feature, you would need to jump over here to your user icon, give that a click, and then scroll down to Bitscap Early Access. You see the hammer and the wrench, give that a click. That will bring you over to the Bitscap Beta website where you will need to log in with your Bitscap credentials. Once you are logged into the Bitscap beta site, as you see up here, beta.bitscap.com slash bot. And it's important to note that any of the bots you deploy over here on the beta platform, that they're basically experimental features that they're currently working on. So there could be changes going forward. So I just click got it. And now you receive the message of early access tryouts and it's the trailing down and new bot feature they basically have also updated how they report the profit or loss for your bots and again it's important to note that when you're using products in a beta version you could have some bugs so keep that in mind if you're not willing to take that risk wait until they roll this out into basically the non-beta version i'm all right with it so i'll click ok and now i'm ready to play a new grid bot with the trailing down feature so i just come up here to start new bot give that a click and the only bot that this is currently going to be available on is their s bot which is their most popular grid bot anyway so give that a click now i'm ready to set up the parameters over here on the right hand side of the screen and the first thing i need to do is select an, an exchange you basically just connect your exchange account to Bitscap via API keys and you only give them authorization to send buy or sell orders on your behalf based on your parameters for your grid bot. And you can add a wide variety of exchanges through the My Exchange tab up here at the left hand corner if you give that a click. You can see I have a couple of exchanges already connected. Now if I wanted to add a new exchange, I just click on Add New Exchange, select the exchange, and then fill in the API key and the secret key and hit Connect. Now once you have your exchanges connected, now you can click on Start New Bot. And again, the only bot available in beta mode is SBOT, so I give that a click. And now I'm ready to set up the parameters. So the first thing to do again is select my exchange. In this case, I am going to use Binance US. The pair I will be trading will be BTC USDT, but you can select from pretty much any pair your exchange offers. But again, today I will be using BTC USDT. Now, with that being said, because I am using the trailing down feature, you might want to deploy the bot on a cryptocurrency that you're actually willing to hold long term, because if this price goes lower and lower and lower, it could take a while for the price to recover before you're back in profit. So again, you might want to deploy this bot on a asset that you're willing to hold long term. Bitcoin happens to be an asset I'm willing to hold long term and I want to always be buying at a lower price. If you're not familiar with how a grid bot actually works, it basically buys low and sells high. And then again, it will buy low on the dip and then sell for profit on the rip back up. And so what you're looking for 
ideally is choppy price action like you're currently seeing on Bitcoin. You would basically be buying these dips and selling the rips back up for profit. And so with that in mind, Bitcoin has basically been trading in a range of about 20,500 down to around 18,000. And so I will typically set my upper limit around resistance and I will set my lower limit down around support. And so since Bitcoin has been trading in that 20,500 to 18,000 range, I could do 18,000 as my lower price. And then for my upper price, I could do 20,500. And now you can see the high price and the low price of my grid. The green lines would represent the open limit buy orders and the red lines would represent the open limit sell orders. And then the space between each one of these lines on the grid or the open limit orders is known as your grid step or your grid spacing and that basically determines your profit. And so now the next parameter for me to configure is the grid spacing or the grid step. Now I typically go somewhere around 1% for my grid step. And you can see that the spacing between each one of these lines has increased dramatically. And now there are actually fewer grids or open limit orders on the actual chart itself. Now the next option is take profit. With this feature you can have the bot automatically close the bot and sell all of its base currency and thus locking in your profit. The next option would be your stop loss when the price reaches a specified stop level it will sell all the base currency and close the bot. Now today I won't be using either one of these features because I will actually be using the trailing up and the trailing down feature and with the trailing up as high as Bitcoin's price can go the bot will move the grid up with the price and continue to stay in the fight and on the flip side the new trailing down feature will work the same way as low as i am willing to allow bitcoin's price to go i actually can configure how low it can go the bot will follow that price down and it's important to note for those of you who are new to the trailing down feature on a grid bot the bot will actually need to use more funds to essentially buy more bitcoin on the way down and it gets those funds from your exchange account. It's not included in the amount that you actually give the bot. It will need some funds available in your exchange account in order to continue to follow that price down. It will basically need to buy more Bitcoin at the market price and then the bot will add an additional sell order to the bottom of the grid which would look something like this. If your lower limit was back up in this area around say 20,940, once the price goes below your lower limit, the bot begins to execute buy orders at market price in order to extend the grid down. And each one of these buy orders is then backed up by a sell order. So if the price goes back up, you will then sell for profit. And again, it's very important to note your exchange account should have sufficient funds in the quote currency for the bot to place the new buy orders. And basically the bot will continue to trail the price down until it reaches your stop trailing down price that you set when you're configuring the bot or until there's insufficient quote currency available in your exchange balance. So with that all being said, if we jump back over here to the configuration page for the bot and scroll down here to the bottom of the page, I need to determine how low I'm willing to let this bot go. And for this particular bot, I'm willing to buy Bitcoin down to say 15,500. And you can now see that the stop trailing down has been moved down to this 15,500 level. So now I have this bot pretty much configured. I do need to, however, determine how much ammo I want to give this bot to go to battle with. And so in this particular situation, given my grid spacing and the number of grids, you can see the minimum investment I would need to deploy this bot with would be 280 USDT. 
Let's go ahead and just give it 300. And then the remainder of the USDT in my Binance US exchange account would be available for the trailing down features. So now I could run a back test. I don't expect this back test to be very good, but it's important to remember that past performance is not indicative of future results. And you can see the three day results are 0.82% or the 30 day results on this particular strategy would only be about 8%. Normally, I would not deploy a grid bot given these results, but for the purpose of testing out the trailing down feature, I am willing to go ahead and give this a shot. So now I just click start. I get a quick recap of the actual parameters. The bot type is SBOT, exchange is Binance US, the pair is BTC USDT. My profit currency will be captured in USDT. You can see the sell orders that I will have open that would represent these red lines on the grid. That would actually be 0.005525 worth of Bitcoin. That is the amount of Bitcoin the bot will need to buy in order to fulfill these open limit sell orders. And then I will have of open limit buy orders in the remaining balance of that 300 in the amount of 192 and that amount obviously would then be held aside for these open limit buy orders on the way down total number of grids is 14 my grid step or grid spacing is 0.9 percent so almost one percent the high price i have set at 2050 for my grid with trailing up enabled and then the low price is 18,000 on my grid and I also have trailing down with the stop trailing down at 15.5. And so I'm good to go. So I click confirm. The bot is starting up. The grids have now populated a chart. You can see my stop trailing down here at around 15.5. And then a new feature for these grid bots that Bitscap is rolling out. It will actually show you your dollar cost average price so if bitcoin's price starts to roll over and go down obviously i'll be buying more bitcoin at a lower price so my overall cost of bitcoin will go down and so this dca price will show me my dollar cost average price as bitcoin's price goes down and then down here at the bottom of the screen you can see that the current value of my bot is 299.97 essentially the $300 and then my bot profit is obviously zero my total P&L now this reporting is different as well is currently pretty much zero because I just deployed this bot one minute ago so with that all being said I will do an update video on how this bot is performing in the future in addition to I'll do a deeper dive on the details of the new profit and loss reporting that Bitscap is rolling out. So if you don't want to miss that future video, you might want to shoot that subscribe button. If you like this video, do me a favor, spike a like. If you have questions or comments, drop them in the comment section down below. I will drop a link to Bitscap in the description down below. And until next time, remember, never send your money into battle without first doing your recon. See you in the next video.